Honestly, y'all remember like in the early 2000s how this like super duper obscure animation that honestly I don't think too many people really know, especially like on the cartoon side, right? There's like plenty of shows that we all can sit down and be like, yeah, there's some fine behind women in certain shows like Teeny Titans, Kim Possible, She Goes About Bad as All Hail, you know, plenty of shows. But when it comes down to it though, lots of people know what those shows is. And and sometimes you might forget, you know, older shows, but and I guess you can kind of slightly throw it into the obscure pile. But still, nonetheless, there are some other wild and shows that are out there that I don't ever see people talk about. So that's what we're going to basically talk about today. And before we actually begin, this also happened. This this is this is kind of crazy. And for those that don't know, this is the person that created Danganronpa as well as Raincode. And they like my drawing of Alara. <laughs> this don't happen too often, but if it started happening more often, hey, I'm all here for it, 100%. Let's start off talking about some obscure shit, or at least the least obscure shit of all the stuff that I probably will bring up, which is going to be Shaolin Showdown, right? I'm pretty sure a lot of you have heard of what Shaolin Showdown is, or may have seen it before and mainly there's only like one female character that's worth anybody's time which is obviously Kimiko right and sure you could say that there's a few others but Kimiko is like the main one I mean if you talking about you don't want that Japanese ass I will be slapping you across the street you'll be looking like a boy slapped across the street looking real sad like you drop all your food on the ground like it is what it is but how, how could you say you don't want Kimiko? I will slap you with the hardest Shinga Wu I can find from that damn show and then try to teach you a lesson with that shit. Because Kimiko is about fine. Don't see people talking about her though, which is unfortunate, but still, I like the hell out of me some Kimiko, 100%. But then you have shows like Chaotic. What in the absolute hell is this shit? I've seen this show on 4Kids, I've watched it obviously, but at the very same time, I never consistently watched it. So I'm obviously left with bits and pieces here, here, and here. It wasn't a bad concept for what it was. I'll throw it down. It really wasn't. Sarah was also kind of bad as hell too. I'm not gonna hold you. But that being said, I look back at it now and I'm just like, I don't give a two shits about this. Why is this even a thing? <laughs> Like genuinely, why is this a whole ass thing though, right? You only have like maybe one or two fine female characters in the entire show and then everybody else is just happy just to throw cards down. If I wanted to see an actual game and an actual card game with good looking characters and actual better characters, I'd watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Do you not know the fine hoes in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's too many to count! And you know what the crazy thing is? Both of them were all four kids as well and one of them was obviously Obviously way better than the other but speaking of four kids there actually is one more show on there that I never actually really caught because it was so early in the damn morning and every time I caught it it was too late and it flipped to Sonic X which Sonic X is also a really good cartoon animated show as well granted I, it's more classified as anime so we can't necessarily put on this damn list but I'm gonna say it anyway Cosmos Bay but anyway when it comes down to it though the show I usually was trying to catch is Magi Nation. The fucking what? You probably don't know what the hell that show is, but I'm being so dead ass when I say this. The only reason why I was trying to catch that show is because I seen this elf chick before and I was like, oh shit, she about fine as hell. I gotta know more about this. And then literally was like, you know, trying to catch it and obviously nothing really ever came from that. So it's a bit unfortunate, but at the very same time, you know, Try my best, never really got it. And I learned her name though, it's Eden, which, you know, would definitely, you know, clap the shit out them elf cheeks and, uh, you know, do a lot of wild things in that damn show, you know? Things that she's probably not prepared for. And that's basically all the four kids that is worth a damn talking about, at least on the regular Western cartoon side. I mean, we could go into the anime side, we could talk about Dinosaur King, we could talk about Zoe and her fine ass because Oh boy, I was sipping hard as hell for that chick when I when I was a kid, but we ain't gonna necessarily go into that. Zoe's fine as hell though. Just gonna throw that shit out there. I feel like y'all sleep hard as hell on Dinosaur King, and mainly it's because Zoe's fine ass. That's just how I feel. Damn! That whole thing is fine! 
Oh! Now there is one more show that is, I want to say, more Western than it is anime. And the reason why I say this is because when I was looking up a bit of research for it, one, the manga reads not right to left, but left to right. This is an English ass way of doing things, much less the way it was also kind of done and the way it was kind of created and the people that kind of was involved is a bit more Western than it is Japanese. So when it comes down to it, I'm inclined to call this next one a cartoon, which is Monsuno. And whether you think it's an anime or not, I'm not gonna hold you. It just feels like one. It feels like it is. And while I don't have super deep ties into Monsuno, because I didn't give two shits about it like that, there is one major reason as to why. And it was Jinja. That whole thing is. I'm not gonna hold you. Jinja was like the baddest chick in Monsuno, and I don't wanna hear a damn word. How dare people not create any art of her anymore? Because she was about bad as all hell. Like, she wasn't from a franchise like no Bakugan or nothing with, you know, the fine blue haired chick and, you know, the black chick. You know, they, they about fine as all hell too. They can. <laughs> what was their names? Bruno? I think in Julie? <laughs> Oh my gosh. See, y'all gotta go find some art on them because if you've seen the art that I've seen, I think the same person did like Yu-Gi-Oh as well. If you've seen that art, boy, I'll never forget Runa and Julie. They, they just they just too damn fine. But Monsuna was not also some Betamon, which honestly, I don't even remember Betamon too much, but I knew there was some fine women in that show too. But still nonetheless, Monsuno had its own type of thing that was trying to do something, but never really took too much off. But still, I never forgot Jinja, 100%. The only character that looked like a Jinja is Jinja. So when it comes down to it, of course I was gonna remember this damn show. Why wouldn't I? I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't even remember what was the point of the damn show. All I was so focused on was Jinja's fine, sexy, big ass. I feel like she would give even Yang a run for her money. But that's essentially Really, all the obscure shows I can think of that I remember watching. So maybe you got some shows that I don't necessarily know. Maybe you can lay them down because I don't remember a lot of them. But yeah, that's for me is like the list of shows I would say. And a lot of female characters in those shows I would say is pretty damn good. Or at least, you know, one of the finer ones I would say. So hopefully you still enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification when you're out. Also follow me on the socials and like to this channel, Ko-Fi and Cash App is available as well. Until then, it's Wojay, signing off. Have a blessed day.